So how to do this uh, no, reverse array in place? How can we do that? And uh, next we have to do another program. Uh, sorting. How can we sort? And are in ascending order and descending order. How can we sort? So here I'm going to use our uh, swapping logic. You remember, uh, no, I did uh, with the third variable, we did a swapping. That same code I'm going to use here. That, that logic I'm going to use here. <clears throat> okay, so first let's you know, uh, do this. Uh, how can we do this uh, swapping? Uh, first, no, reversing we'll do. Reverse an array. So, How to reverse an array? That's our first program. We'll do that. Then copying one array elements into another array. How can we do that? That also I want to show you. Right. So this is a different program, but so input we'll give for this method, okay? So I'm going to give an input for this method and I'll reverse uh, an array, okay? Let's do that. So public, so wide reverse array in place. Basically, in place is nothing but in the same positions you are uh, reversing and uh, not you uh, know uh, one after the other. So right, that that's the in place means. So you will learn even effectively you will do this. So reverse uh, an array in place. That means uh, basically uh, how we'll do this is the iteration happens till uh, array length by two. So this is the one you are not uh, doing complete, you know, uh, full length of you no know, iteration you are not doing. So that is an effective way and you can easily reverse them. So that's the plan here. So first, maybe you can print before reverse, uh, what is that, right? Okay. So before uh, uh, reverse, the array is, okay. Before reverse, the array is, array is uh, dot to string, array is dot to string num variable. You can print that, right? And then iterate the array first. So let's uh, so iterate the array and then so iterate the array, then reverse it by using the swapping logic. See, how I'm going to do, I told you, so we have to iterate blank by two size only, not complete. So in i equal to zero, you start with zero, but in the so first day program, we reversed in divided by First to last element you are starting, but I am starting here first element onwards only. That's the main concept here. I less than array dot length by two. So till length by two only, I'm going to iterate. I plus plus. So this is the main concept we are going to do. 
So swapping logic, we have to implement the swapping logic. So how we are swapping? Last element I am placing in the first place, first element I am placing in the last place. Then last but one element I am placing in the second position, second position element I am placing in the last but one. So like this, the swapping will happen in the same positions, but only elements I am swapping there. So that is the one I am going to use, int temporary variable. So I am placing the array first element, I am going to keep it here. That means, so num of i, the first element. Num of i, I am going to keep in the temporary variable, okay? Then in the that same position, I am putting the last element. I am assigning the last element uh, in the first place. So that how can I get num of, right, num of num dot length minus i minus one. So why minus i am using here? Because I have to come right to left, right from right, from right side to left, I need to come back. So for that, this will help you. This will help you. So I'm placing the last element. And the, on this last position, on this last position, I'm going to put my first uh, temporary variable. That's it. Then you can print the array. That the reverse is going to be done with that. So after reverse, so array is you can directly print, otherwise you can use a for loop one to print that. Okay. So arrays dot to string. So num variable. It's a very simple program. Okay. So any doubts here? Yeah, quick question, sir. Um mm -hmm. if the array elements, number of elements are like even number or odd number, that does it make any difference with this code? So I don't think so it will make any okay. difference. Okay. So it doesn't matter. Because if it's if it's odd number, then the middle of the number, I think we'll get it right. If it's even, I'm not sure because there'll be two 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 elements sitting next to each other. Who, and we don't know where is the center of it, right? When we do the length by two. The center is a size by two, right? Obviously That's correct. Side. Yeah, if it's seven, seven elements in there, three and a half, so it takes three because three. of the teacher. Three only. It, yeah. it takes three only. So and let's the, see you know, whether it is going to reverse or not. We'll give you such kind of things. All okay, right. yeah, cool. Yeah, sure. Basically, you need to input any anything you input it. Yep. So if it is working or not, we need to see that. We need to check, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah. All right. So let's let's go and you know, run the program. So we have a, a random array here, right? Random array, basically five are there. First, let's give that the same, okay? AD OVZ dot. So, reverse are in this random array. Okay, let's print this. Let's execute. Okay, before reverse array is 50, 64, 4, 73, 41, right? After reverse, what, what happened? 41 came to first place, 50 went to last place. Again, 73 came to 64 place, 64 went to 73 place. Then in, you don't need to reverse this four. Correct, but if you take like six elements in there, right? Yeah, let's go and do that, okay? Yep. So even I didn't test it, but let's give it a try, okay? So I'm going to declare an array with more than uh, five elements or six elements, seven elements. Let's give that. Right? Let's call this 
function. And you need to give the number one. Number, number one, one, yeah. That's right? True. So this array yeah. name is number one. So let's see and uh, so where it is working or not. Right? Yep, it's working, yeah. Perfectly oh working, place. right? Yep. So nine place, uh, so this nine and five is swapped, right? Next uh, five and eight is swapped, that's it. It will work any elements, it will work. There okay. is no need for that. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Thank you. So this is the how you can. Well, that's what any input your logic should work. It doesn't yeah. matter. That's the in. The input you are giving a for a method means it should work for any input data. Then only your logic is perfect. Yeah. For any data. So I'm I'm telling you for this method you have to give an input array. You should reverse the elements. Okay. Yep. Hey, anybody need explanation more or uh, so? Is it clear? Maleshwari, Pavani, Sri Devi, Nagalakshmi. I'm good, Amish. Good, sir. Clear, yeah. sir. Okay. So this is the very, you know, simple, just replace the values, okay? So you will get nicely one by one. So that's what you need to do. Uh, this is the very simple examples also. That's why I used all this swapping logic. You remembered, beginning I told very, one program I did there. Now I'm using in the bigger programs. So this is the way, you know, uh, the, so same logic, if you remember, and it will be beneficial for you in all the places, right? That's one program. Okay. Next. I want to copy one array elements into another array. How can you copy? So let's do that. It's easy, right? You can do this. I don't need even. Just use the for loop and uh, that's more than enough. But so let me write copy one array element into another array. How can we do that? Let's give an input for this method again. So I'll give input protected void copy array elements. The input is, when you give an array input, I can make it um, at the rate params. So num, num is my parameter. Okay, num one, so first array is, first array elements are, print with the you know, arrays dot, Two string method, static method, and uh, so num variable. But I, I should have another array, right? So let's uh, you know, see another array. So what is the another array? To so create a, another array. Create another array. So in tz type array only I need to create, right? Uh, maybe I'll give num2 equal to num2 new int what size what is the size this also should be same as a num dot length same as a num dot length only now i need to copy this num variable num array elements into num2 how can we copy so let's see that so copy the num array elements into num2 array. So for int i equal to 0, I need to start with first element onwards. 
i less than num dot length and i plus plus because uh, you first uh, array I'm iterating i'll copy into num2 so num2 of i equal to num of i that's it it's the assignment operator right the same object you are copying to num2 of i that's it then print the num2 after copying num array into num2 array so just give array set dot to string this time i'll pass num2 array that's it but not num1 so num2 array so very simple right basically assignment operator only i'm using that's it okay so this is a basic question basic programs and i don't want to spend much time here also uh, next one is uh, next program. So starting, we'll go directly. Uh, so another I told right yesterday. Anybody tried? You know, you need to find out set the element with a you no know, uh, given integer number, right? Uh, how can we search? So you want to do that? It is very easy. Iteration inside you put if condition. And give the number. That number is equal to any of the array element. Return uh, true, otherwise return false. Okay, so that's what you need to do. That maybe you can put a return type method. So let me write the return type method. Search. Write a program to search. This is a very important. It will be useful in the real time. Write a program. Set given element is present in the array or not. So you have to return the, so I'll give uh, the input for this is uh, number. So your element, I'll just put element, okay? Element, right? So the return type, it should be return type, Boolean return type. Uh, so this method returns a boolean type. So public boolean, it has to return a true or false to so after you know uh, doing that. And uh, so I'll give an input for this uh, you no know, array. Um, array also we can give input another parameter. You give the in array and also element both you can give. So always. I don't know, right? The element is there or not. Okay. Array, I'll give inside, no problem. So, set element in array. So, how can we do that? So, int element. So, that's enough, I think. Um, so, array will declare inside, okay? So, let's declare and create array so in teaser so number equal to new in of um, the size you can give five or otherwise directly you can assign the values also like this you can assign the values so four one six two eight so and uh, right five Six okay, I'll give, I'll remove this, okay? Yep. That's easy for us. You can put more than part of the, if you don't declare the size, so it is fine. The second step, um, so you can, you can take, a, you know, uh, well, uh, starting, you can take uh, whether this is present or not, right? So you can search it. So particular element. Uh, so while searching, 
you can take one element. So boolean, boolean variable you declare first initially. So e is present something, boolean e is present equal to false you declare, right? So that uh, declare one variable, declare a boolean variable. So boolean variable. So boolean is present equal to false. Initially, I'm saying false. No element is not there. I'll just set that. So then third step, iterate the array. Iterate the array and uh, check uh, element is present in array. So again, iteration means always it is the same thing and int i equal to zero, i less than array dot length and i plus plus. See how many times I'm writing the same concept. Please understand here. So yeah, I'll say here now. If array of i, that means array element is equal to element. So this array element is equal to this input element, then return. Then you can say, you can assign E is present is uh, true. You can assign E is present to true. Okay? Else. Array is not required else also. Then directly, you can say the return is present. Already we declared here false, right? If this is not true, it will return to you false. Okay, so we can see that. Uh, so one, two, five, four, eight, right? So let's call this. So what is the so return type methods how to call Boolean? data type of that method and uh, is present so equal to adobz dot set element i'll give a first five the element which is there already so what is the so we see uh, same thing Five is present in array set dot to two string. That is um, okay. We cannot check here, right? This array array will print here. I'll print the array, okay? This array. Let me print this array so that we can understand, right? So Array used for search. So array is a dot to string. So otherwise I don't know, right? The what are the elements are there? So I need to find out those elements. So I can directly just put this is present. Okay. Just is PR is the my variable name that will store here true or false. Now you will get a see five is available in the array, right? Five is there. So you will get a true. So it will assign the first it is false only, but uh, it will stamp again. That I'm returning. I'm returning that if this is present and I'm returning a true here. So that it will assign the false it will replace with a true. So then that you are returning, the true it will return, basically. So that is what uh, we are doing here. So let's write this program. Java application. So what you got? Who you got? Is it true you got it? Uh, some space let me give. So true you got it. So like same way, uh, you give a different element, a three you give. So three is not there, right? So three is not there, it returns false to you. 
Okay, I'll give three. So let's give three. Change the data. That, that's it. You don't need to do anything. Change the data. See now what will happen? You'll get a false. Three is not there here. See, if three is not there, it is running false. It is going to search each element, so which is equal to the input value or not. If not input, not equal to input value, returns false. If it is there, it returns true. That's it. Yeah. Any questions here? Otherwise, for example, you still they will ask, sometimes they will ask you, okay, your element is appeared here only, but you don't want to iterate all other elements. Then you can put a break here. Don't want to iterate further. For example, six is there. So it won't go to the next element. Don't go to the next element. It will break and return true to you. So for example, if I give six or one, see what will happen. Immediately fast, you will get uh, you know, uh, your data and you will get an uh, output if you use break. So it won't go all the iterations. So if you want, you can run in debug mode, you will come to know. See, very fast, you will get it true. So you can see that you run in the debug mode. So let's run in the debug mode, you will come to know. So this is how you need to try it out all the combinations, okay? And run in the debug mode. See how it will uh, help you. Debug as Java application. It, it will exit immediately and it may be without you know, middle. And if you without using break, what will happen? You see that without using break, what will happen? You see that. And uh, with break, what will happen? You see the difference you observe. You remove the break also and try it out and run in the debug mode. What will happen? You see that, right? So that's what uh, no, we need to understand here. So where it didn't come. So go here and uh, why it didn't come. So it's uh, wrong, something wrong here. Why the debug point, a toggle break point is there, run. Debug guess Java application. Yeah, it's now coming. It, it stopped there. It stopped there. Why it stopped there? Because we kept it over breakpoint. I'm saying, okay, stop. I need to interact now. So I need to do execution line by line now. So I'll click on this. It will go to next line. See this the one. Next line. So your element is uh, six. So and uh, go to the next line. So now is boolean value, so you will update here. So is boolean, uh, is present is uh, false now. Element is six. So now for loop, it came to for loop, you can observe that. So if it is not visible, please you know, understand here. So let me you know, increase. So now it will come, condition is uh, true, comes inside. Now you observe that. See, now it came inside the if condition it is checking. I value initially is zero. Zero. So number of zero means you can see array, it, it will be a complete array. See. Uh, so zero means four, uh, array of one means one, no. array of two means uh, six, so array of three means two, like that. It is uh, no, even all the iteration it is giving here. You can see here. So how clearly it is giving values. So even with indexes, it is giving. So anybody can understand this. Okay. For zero. So number of zero is four and element six. So what will happen now? False, right? This condition becomes false. Am I right or not? So will you agree with me or not? Yep. The element is six, so number of zero is four. So this condition becomes false. So now it will go up. I value will increment now. I will incremented to one. Now it came here. So number of one means, uh, what is the value? Number of one means, again, that is also not true. One, I think. So again, now here, number of two, you put, put your cursor here. 
num of 2 so you are getting num of 2 means 6 and element 6 both are equal equal means it will come here now it will come inside the if condition it is going inside see now he is present now currently is present still false now it will change the false value to true so it will change now see it change it to true now break is executing if break is executed what will happen it will exit entire for loop so for loop is ending 241 line it will jump and come to 242 line see that that's what is going to happen when the break executes it will come out of the loop it's not going further iteration it stopped the further iterations that is the more effective way this is the concepts you should know okay if my element appears in the loop break it don't iterate further that break can do that so this is the concepts you need to get and in the real time you need to apply this this kind of scenarios very very helpful in the real time for you otherwise unnecessarily loop will keep rotating right if you don't put a break it will go keep going it won't stop there it will go further element again so to stop the loop and you have to use a break so this is the kind of you know concepts even they will ask you in the interview and you can answer this kind of you know questions also yeah yeah. Thank you. And these are very helpful. And all this concepts, whatever we are giving inputs, these are very, very useful in the real time. So you can you can build your logic and kind of you know uh, important concepts, you uh, know, very, very useful. Yep. Yeah. So that's it, uh, no, but uh, still uh, so few more programs are there. I'm giving much, much time for you guys. Please practice. And uh, so still, uh, 